everybody. Welcome to today's Keeper Corner at Lincoln Children's Zoo. My name is Missy and I'm a zookeeper here at the zoo. And today we're going to talk about the colobus and we're going to get a close-up look at the new colobus baby. So these guys, I'm going to talk a little bit about them first. So in here with our colobus group, we have Ty. Ty is the dad and he is seven years old. He's over there. And we have Nolly, she's the mom of the baby. She's got the baby on her right now, you can probably see. And Nolly is five. And the baby was just born January 19th. And then we have Nolly's sister, Sana. And Sana is four years old. So when they came here to the zoo a little over a year ago, our intention was to make their population larger. So we wanted to have babies. So Sana and Nali came to us um, specifically to have babies um, and with Ty. Ty came from the Los Angeles Zoo. So Ty had never been a father before, um, but he's been around babies, been around a big troop of, of colobus monkeys. So he knew what was going on and everything. So he's really good with the baby. He knows what he interacts with babies when he was growing up. And same with Nolly and Sana, their zoo that they came from. Um, they actually uh, had babies in their group too. So Nolly actually helped raise Sana, even though she was, you know, about the same age, um, a little bit older than Sana. She helped actually see her mom interact with the baby and help take care of her. So that way she knew when she was had a baby, she knew what to do. So we knew that that was gonna be a good, good situation. So now that Sana has seen a baby being born and Nolly take care of the baby, and she's actually helped take care of the baby, we're gonna have Sana hopefully someday have a baby as well. Um, Sana just became mature enough to have a baby this year. So we're hoping in the future she will have a baby as well. Um, so that way, the new baby and another baby can grow up together and kind of pal around. Right now, as you can see, this baby is all over the place. So she's exploring her environment, jumping around, using her legs, looking for food, looking for things to do, just like normal babies and toddlers do. But she always comes back to mom because mom is safety. But she interacts a lot with, with her aunt Sana. Um, Nolly, if she's kind of needs a break, she will let Sana take the baby for a while. Um, so Sana will have the baby in short, you know, a few minutes at a time. Um, and that happened from birth, actually. Um, she let Sana take the baby for a few minutes at a time from birth, but um, made sure she was really close. But now that the baby's pretty independent, um, the baby goes all over, interacts with dad a little bit more. Um, so right now, she's actually eating, I would say about a fourth of her food diet in uh, what we give the adult all this, which is lettuce leaves, all sorts of variety of lettuce. They get browse branches, so leaves off trees and things like that. They get um, two different types of monkey biscuits. Um, they get all sorts of vegetables as well. So she's actually sampled all of that. We've seen her eat all of that, but she's still nursing for mom and she'll continue to do that for another couple months probably. About six months is when mom completely says, you know what, you're on your own, no more nursing for me. You, you know, you're on your own eating wise. So right now you'll see a lot of times, Nolly will run away from the baby to kind of say, okay, go do your own thing. Right now the baby's like not sure. She runs after mom screaming sometimes. So it's kind of like human babies. You know, mom says, go do this. And, and the human baby says, oh, mom, don't leave me. So we're kind of in that stage right now. She wants to be my mom, but she's still pretty independent. So you can see that her coloration on her fur is getting really dark. So about six months is when she'll have that full adult coloration, that black and white pattern. That all adult colobus have. So she's getting pretty close to that coloration. Every day she gets a little more black where the white used to be. Because when they were first, she was first born, and all colobus babies when they're first born 
are all white and their faces are, are kind of a pink color. Their, their skin's a little bit pink, but their skin, as you can see, her skin on her face is all black now. Um, so she's, she's growing up really fast and learning her environment and learning what to do. You can see she's eating some hay. She loves hay and lettuce. She loves carrots. I've seen her eat some bell pepper. She's tried everything, so she is right on track growing wise. Well, thank you for watching us with the colobus today and with learning about the colobus and the colobus baby. We are so excited for you to come back to the zoo someday pretty very soon. Um, but right for right now, uh, make sure you check the comment section for your activity for the day. Thank you.